Leviathan here, the driver of the Audi R8, was involved in a very serious and heartbreaking accident where he was the passenger in the McLaren 720S that launched and spun out of control into an Audi R8. So up next is the story of exactly what happened as he reminisces about his experience. <laughs> was actually involved in a pretty heartbreaking experience. So, I hate to make you relive this tragic experience, but tell us a bit more about what happened. Start with a bit of context. I assume it was a decent day, right? It was about 14 degrees or something? Uh, yeah, so it was a sunny day. Uh, there, was, there was supposed to be a meet happening by the Rebel Nightclub. So that's, uh, that's around Polson Pier. Pier, right? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's supposed to be a meet, and a bunch of us got there, I guess, before the main kind of, uh, uh, you know, the main crew showed up. Um, so one of the guys had a this McLaren 720, and, you know, he was just. Uh, uh, showing the car, I guess, to the rest of us because, you know, obviously it's an expensive car and, you know, not not everybody can afford it. So uh, so he was showing it off and uh, going for a joyride was, you know, taking passengers for a joyride. Oh, really? Right. So he was young too, right? Yeah, he was very young, yeah. So he looked like 16, but I think on, on, on paper he was maybe like 18, 19. Is it true he didn't have his driving license? I, I think that was like a, a rumor as well that was going around. Well, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. So it is true, but some rumors are not true. Yeah. So, uh, so what happened was we were just waiting and he was giving a ride to all, all, all the people who were still there. And the funny thing is, he did this, I guess, launch. I'm not sure if he was actually using the, the proper launch in the car, but, but he definitely launched the car, you know, from zero to 60 type of thing yeah. uh, several times for several passengers. But then as soon as I get in, right, and start filming him, uh, I guess he just, you know, he, he became too confident and he just floored it. In fact, he floored it so much that I was not expecting it. Oh, wow. And I was just, just almost holding on to my life, right? And I was just like, oh shit, what, what, what are you doing, right? Yeah. Uh, so he just, he started, the, the rear wheel started spinning and, you know, he, he was losing control. He was trying to correct it. So he was just spinning, you know, left and right. Um, so he completely lost control and started skidding towards the, the park. All right. The lucky thing is it wasn't that fast, so I think it was maybe like 60, 80 kilometers at most because that's like it was, you know, a very short kind of run. Yeah. The driver of the R8 was actually involved in a pretty heartbreaking experience. By, by making, by running, 
right? He made it criminal. Perhaps he just turned on launch control, which automatically deactivates uh, traction control, right? So, exactly. So that's exactly what happened. The real challenge is, like, I constantly get a lot of people telling me, oh, I should upgrade my car. Um, you know, the 650S is just not enough power, but the reality is it's it's a lot of power and it takes a lot of skill just to handle it, you know? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And just like my friend Crazy Leo says, right, like, those kind of drivers, if they want to drive, you know, big high-powered vehicles, they, they need to go through some kind of training. So there you have the full story of what happened, from the facts to the rumors. In the end of the day, I think it's really important to remember that it takes skill experience as well as courage to extract and control the power of these cars thanks for watching until next time